Hello and welcome to the summary of the Bite Size Tax Pilots webinar. My name is Dominic Borquin and um, I'm a part tax partner in Monaghan's and I'll be your host today. Today we focused on business records checks. First of all, the telephone call. You may have received a letter from the revenue saying to expect a call from them with regard to them risk assessing your business record. That call will comprise of about 10 questions, um, which are in the full webinar for you to look at. Um, and at the end of that call, they will tell you whether there will be any further action. Um, they may recommend a visit, they may recommend, recommend further education, or they may recommend that no education and uh, no, no action is taken. As regards a visit, it should last a couple of hours. They'll ask you about your records, they will do some sampling, and they'll generally um, ask you about how your proce procedures work, what sort of accounting packages you use, etc., etc. At the end of that visit, they will make recommendations to you. It may well be there's no further action. It may well be there are recommendations for you to improve your records. If they make those recommendations, you'll be given time to implement them. And um, uh, you will also then be subject to a further business records check in two years' time. There are fines that can be levied for poor business record keeping. However, no fines have so far been levied. So I think the revenue have significantly underestimated the quality of records that most businesses keep. Because for them to have not actually levied any fines at all, says that they can't have been that unhappy by what they've found. Um, so I think if you are subject to a call and then a visit by the revenue, um, you need to be honest with them, you need to be helpful, make sure you don't do their job for them. Uh, but also, if you keep records that are sufficient for you to produce an accurate tax return and accurate accounts, then you should not have anything to fear. Um, the last point we covered was the autumn statement. It was previously advertised as being on the 4th of December uh, by the Treasury. That's now changed, and it will now be on the 5th of December, which is a Thursday, at around lunchtime. Um, we haven't heard much in the way of rumours so far as to what may or may not change. The only one I have heard is around, is around stamp duty land tax and the potential that they may make it a fairer system. That's all I've got for you. I don't know, I haven't, haven't heard any further rumours or how they may change the stamp duty land tax. Um, so thank you very much for this summary. If you'd like more details and to look at the slides in full, they are available on our website, www.monahans.co.uk. Thanks very much for listening. Bye-bye.